Look! Look at it! <laughs> Right now I'm in Germany. Today I have the very special opportunity of visiting a uh, live running wind turbine. I'm here with my dad. Say hi dad. Hi! <laughs> so now we're heading to one of the wind turbines. This is Carl Otto. Hello. Uh, tell us a bit about the park. Yes, we have 15 turbines. We started production in 1999. I'd always known that Germany had a lot of wind turbines, but when I finally got there, I was still shocked by just how many there were. They were everywhere. Small ones, big ones, in open fields, and even built onto buildings. And why am I so interested in them? I'm excited by renewable energy and the potential it has to transform our world and our way of life. But my parents and relatives would probably say my love of turbines stems from my early childhood obsession with spinning objects like electric fans. In either case, there's no better place to learn about wind turbines than from inside one. We're here inside the base of the wind turbine. Look at that. That's the reason why we have a helmet on so we don't die when we fall down. So Carl just had to turn the whole wind turbine off for us to visit. Thank you, Carl. Can I go first? Ooh. And don't make too much wind. <laughs> what was it? Mm. Alright, we're about to go up. Hopefully. What was it? Can you try to Woohoo! Bye bye. You must pay attention. Yes, yes. So here we are in the top of the turbine. We just went up a really scary escalator. Um, so where are we now? Yes, we are under the so-called Azimut system. Here we have uh, the Azimut brakes. When you look there, we have the motors which, which turns the next cell on the tower. Right, yes. so that stops that from uh, yes. twisting because yes. you wouldn't want this cable to twist yes. and break. If it, it turns uh, three times, the system stops and, and turns now. Yeah, 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 now oh, it's now it's, yeah. right, so yeah. just starting moving. Yeah. So this is all being done automatically. Yes. Okay, so it was just a little adjustment. That was very cool. It's, it's making weird noises and I don't want to die. Here we are in the top of the turbine. This is the turbine part. <laughs> I'm now gonna go up to the top. We have the, uh, the so-called slow shaft and there is the, the gear system. This is the generator behind the light the transformer. And this stuff? This is uh, to, to cool the oil in the gear. Right. There. Here we are at the top of the turbine, ready to stand out. Carl's just showing me how it's done. I've learned, don't push that button or everything will go wrong. <laughs> okay. Should I be worried about that noise? So this is one of the blades, wow. Wow. So that is um, one of the blades very slowly rotating and very dirty very dirty <laughs> needs a clean but look at this isn't this amazing oh and there you can see the little the little thingy yes. which tells what direction the direction wind is going speed. so that yeah. the turbine can rotate yeah. look at this isn't this fantastic standing at the top of a wind turbine makes you appreciate the engineering required to make these machines work even more so right here in the state of Schleswig-Holstein, where electricity generated from wind turbines frequently exceeds domestic demand by up to 25%. So um, how, how uh, big is this turbine again? 1.7 megawatt. 1.7 megawatts. Yeah. Here comes a blade, look at that. So yes, these blades possibly do need to clean. Does that reduce the efficiency at all? It does yes, reduce the efficiency. Yes, we have to, uh, to clean it every third year about. Fair enough. It's so long, I can't believe it. So here, Carl and I are on top of the wind turbine, enjoying the view. It is quite <laughs> exciting for me. Um, there goes one of the blades once again. I just can't believe it. It's, I've been wanting to do this for ages, and now Carl has very kindly allowed me to see it. So thank you very much for that. It's been great. <laughs> now, um, I guess we're gonna have a look around inside a bit more. This is why you shouldn't film on a wind turbine, because you end up dropping your micro HDMI cable down the bottom and now Carl has to go get the micro HDMI cable because I dropped it down in the middle of a wind turbine. So that's not fun. Don't do that kids. Thank you Carl for that. 
Isn't that embarrassing? Don't do that. <laughs> Carl just wanted to show me how high up we really are, as appropriate for this little symbol here. As you can see, there are my dad and his friend having a good old yarn. Hello, 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 <laughs> wave, hello, hello. <laughs> this is incredibly exciting. I don't think you can see in my emotions how excited I am about this, but it actually is really cool. I learned about this just quickly. It says no flash photography here, because if you have a flash, the wind turbine will think that there's a short circuit and the whole thing will turn off. So I'm gonna be very careful and not take any pictures up here so I don't accidentally do that and set the wind turbine off. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so you can test the system with a... Right. With a yes. Oh, so oh, so it's a, it's a double whammy. Yeah. You can you can actually test it with a phone. Oh, please don't. Oh, no, phone, right. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I thought he was going to break the wind turbine just for me. I'm like, no, do that, please. It's not much. Down, back to the depths we go. How exciting. Have a look. We do it the same way. Yeah. Wow. No. Amazing. <laughs> you can see it. Can you hear it? It's starting. You hear You can just hear the turbine starting up again. Have a look up. So we just had we just turned the turbine back on after we'd have a nice trip oh, inside. Yeah, it's barely been a minute and the turbine's back in action. And this is directly below the turbine and as you can see can you can barely it. hear it. Yeah. It's like a bit of a whoosh. A nice whoosh. A nice whoosh. A friendly neighborhood whoosh. No, environmentally <laughs> friendly whoosh. An environmentally friendly whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Right now in Australia, we are facing an energy crisis which has been triggered in part by unprecedented stigmatisation of renewable energy and the privatisation of the electricity sector. But while investment in the Australian energy sector falls and we continue to lose control of our grid, Germany appears to have long moved on and is now reaping the benefits of renewable energy at a global, national and community level. Let's, let me tell you a bit about this wind farm right here. There are only about 15 wind turbines here and yet these few 15 wind turbines provide enough power for 8,000 homes. Not people, but homes. And the average home is mum, dad and two kids. These turbines are going to be upgraded soon. Some are going to be shut down and new ones are going to be built. So there's going to be only eight turbines. And when that happens, those eight will be able to power 30,000 homes, which is a crazy jump. This project has so much potential to empower people, literally, you know, give them electricity. But this is the important thing. This project, this little wind farm here, isn't some energy company business, you know, just setting up wind turbines. This is run by citizens. So 400 individuals have invested in this project collectively. Basically, the two towns on either side of this um, wind turbine park have invested in these wind turbines to get them off the ground. So it's community owned energy. It's not actually some monopolized industry group controlling this, which is fantastic. What? Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, this is freaking amazing. It really just shows the potential that we have still to do this. Can you imagine this happening in Australia? This doesn't happen in Australia. Why doesn't this happen in Australia? Because the politicians are idiots. That's a basic thing. Watch this, share it with your friends and family. Let them see the wind turbines. It's gonna be a great time. Bye-bye, I need to run out of time. He needs to go somewhere, bye.